So here I am back again and this time we're going to be decluttering Larissa's bathroom. We've already had great fun at the shops picking out some organisational bits and bobs that are going to turn that bathroom into a really functioning space. Now we've already started off by doing Larissa's bedroom. It was full of little cluttered pockets all over. So we've completely cleared the area and we've made that into a nice relaxing environment for her. We then went on to do the living room, which was a really tricky room actually, because it was multifunctioning. We had to create a space that had a music area, had a study area, a cloakroom area, and not just a dining room, a sitting area too. But we managed to change all of that and got it functioning just perfectly for Larissa and her family. And so then we went on to do her kitchen. Lots of those kitchen drawers, messy, untidy little pockets again. So we sorted all of those out and created a really good kitchen where Larissa can find everything because everything has a place. Let's see if Larissa's ready to start on that bathroom. Come on, let's go. Hello. Hi. Hi, Larissa. How are you? I'm good. Oh, here so, we go. Wow. Lots and lots of stuff. We're going to be doing the bathroom today. Oh, great. They are tiny, but I know we can find spaces there. So let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Here we are then, Larissa, yeah. in your bathroom and toilet area. And they're separate, aren't they? And they're yeah. quite small spaces. <laughs> Yay. Uh, so I've got um, quite a lot of ideas and I think it's really important to remember not to overcomplicate a bathroom. Can you remember the bags, Larissa? We're going to be doing decluttering first, so let's just go back over that. So we have the green bag and this is going to be for donations, anything that we want to give to charity. Then we've got the grey bag which is just for rubbish, rubbish, if we can find oh, some yeah. of that. okay. And then let's not forget our blue bag for recycling, which I'm sure we're going to find a lot of, actually, mostly in bathrooms. Yeah, so I think yeah, to find exactly. that. So Shall we? Tree, we yeah, run. let's go. Should we go into the shower room first? So this is obviously Laura's things that she's accumulated over the years. Oh, yeah, yeah. So let's start with these and have exactly, a little look yeah. through. I bought these other day, so let's So we're going to keep yeah. these, so I'm just going to put these to one side for now. Charity. So, and charity for this little fellow, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's keep this bag here because uh, uh, when you travel, uh, we need Ah, oh, okay. Then maybe yeah. we should put that in a suitcase. Yeah, exactly. So then it's ready to go. So that's always yeah. about having things in a place. Great. But that okay. can go to charity. Again, we've got lots of little bits and bobs here. Exactly. So we can perhaps give these to someone. There we go. Uh, these are it's broken. It's broken, uh, so I think that can go in the recycling. There we go. Uh, imagine, I forgot I had this. <laughs> so we'll keep hold of yeah. that and maybe utilise it for what it should be for, exactly. yeah. Another bag, yeah. Another great. bag. Yeah. There. So we've got more figures. Yeah. The ponies. Here we go, so we need yeah, the combs and all the essentials, so we're going to be keeping hold of the essentials. Now we told you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. give. It's hard to get rid of her toys, no, because it, Ah, it reminds you of times, but I mean, the majority of kids only play with 20% of their toys 80% of the time. So it's important to keep rotation going yeah. and also giving and donating to kids that don't have so much stuff is always a good feeling, yeah? And there we go. Done. This is a familiar sight in the sink area. As you can see, chaos has happened here. Things have just been chucked in. So what we're going to do is we're going to first of all find all the empty things and keep all the stuff that we really need to keep hold of. 
And here we've got something that ends up turning into a little bit of a dumping ground and not used for what it should be used for. For example, the cleaning products and things. So we're gonna find a, a better place for those. And this toothbrush. It's not my husband's toothbrush. So we're keeping hold of that. <laughs> and what about this? How do we feel about this particular? It's a bit old. I yeah. think it's, yeah. And I don't Early. think maybe that would um, be donated either. So I think we're just yeah. gonna pop that into the bin, I think. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> so let's go to the toilet? Yes. Yeah, yeah. great. <laughs> Here we have something that I always talk about, and I think, Narissa, we've been doing this quite a few times as well, taking things out that don't belong in the rooms. So I think we've got a new place for this. We've got the new cloakroom area, and oh, now you've yeah. got space in there, oh, yeah. so we can pop it in there. Okay. These tend to be quite tricky, actually, to um, house, but also these don't belong in the, the bathroom area, so we're gonna find another space for this and pop it away where it should be. And again, look, as soon as we've done that, my goodness me, already more space in here. We're ready now to start putting in the bits and bobs that are going to help organise this space better. And so I've actually sent Larissa away as it's quite a small space, but also to give her the ultimate surprise when she comes back in. Before we started though, I wanted to show things like this, which are great, particularly when you're dealing with a small bathroom. Suction pad things that stick to the tile walls are going to save you loads and loads of space. And you can do that per person, so each person has their own little compartment. And we've got a few different varieties. This can be very handy. And also the ultimate one, which is like a suction hook rail, and that's going to add so much storage to your bathroom. Just for those little luxury products and things, um, I noticed that Larissa actually had a bit of a cracked mirror and also that it was quite a bulky mirror. So I've actually got this really thin mirror, as you can see, that can fit in and you can also put products behind it if you're trying to make sure that you've got a clutter-free surface area. I don't know if you remember that. But we found that in um, Larissa's uh, cupboard space, as it were. Um, so I'm going to use that, obviously, for toothbrushes and things, which is what it's supposed to be for. All you really need in here is a place for toilet rolls and some cleaning products. So I'm just going to use that with uh, some of these baskets and pop these down either side of the toilet. And then I've got this little turn on light that's uh, gonna shine and also bringing that theme through. just to finish those final touches on Larissa's bathroom and I'm really excited to get her in. As you know, these spaces are really, really small, so this is really going to prove my point that less is more and it actually gives the illusion of more space. So let's get Larissa in and see what she thinks. Larissa, are you there? Woo! Come on, come on in. Wow, Sally. There's a lot of space in our Unbelievable, no. isn't it? The box is uh, very clean and tight. Yeah. No, a little different. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, sure. Come through. Come on through. Wow, look here, very clean now, not so many stuff, it's like a lot of old toys, no remember? Yes, yeah, and also you see that's to do with your good decluttering, making sure that you've only got what you need 
available to you and now you can see everything you've got so you're going to be able to keep on in control of that clutter. Exactly. So amazing, the mirror, new mirror and the little flower, thank you for the yeah. surprises. Little yeah. touches, again, you know, not being a minimalist but, you know, just adding those little bits that make you smile and make you happy can make all the difference, especially when you're getting ready in the morning and busy. You are a box <laughs> of surprises, no, like, and uh, you have your magical fingers and everything, you touch it and change everything, no? Amazing, beautiful, thank you, thank you very much. You're so uh, welcome. <laughs> You're so welcome. Yay. Well, Larissa was really pleased with what we did to the bathroom and it was thanks to her proper decluttering that we managed to stay in control of that clutter and utilise loads of those amazing little extra storage bits that we bought from the shops. So, my suggestions, why don't you start with the bathroom? There's not a lot of attachment to empty shampoo bottles, so that's probably the best place for you to start. Happy decluttering and we'll see you next time.